Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy Chanel, and I'm coming to you with another video. Um, please excuse my surroundings. I'm in my car. I'm actually at the hospital. I'm getting ready to head up to go spend the night with my dad. Um, I want to say first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all your prayers, all the love and the support. It means the world to me and my dad. You have no idea, me and my family. Um, it's been tough, but God is working and he's getting better and so I'm grateful for that. It was tough. It was it, it was touch and go for a second. Not touch and go. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say it like that. I don't want to um, mislead you all. But it was rough. It was rough for me. It was rough for him. And we just didn't expect it to be that tough. And so I'm grateful to God that he's coming through it. He's still in the hospital but he's out of ICU. So thank God for that. Um, and uh, you know I've been having some really good moments lately i've been on some i got some really good stuff coming for you guys i'm super excited i just don't want to share too soon prematurely or anything but i've got some really exciting things coming up and so god has just really been blessing me and of course you know that anytime you're destined for greatness anytime god is showing up in your life that's when the enemy wants to get busy because he does not want god to get the glory and um the devil is a lie like I have been on cloud nine and it seems like he's been trying to knock me down every time but I will not let the enemy get the glory I will not let him make me feel the way that he's been trying to make me feel I won't I won't do it um, all that to say let's get to the point of this video this video is very hard for me because um, if you follow me if you've been following me for a little while if you know me personally you would know that I kind of hold myself to a certain standard. Not to sound conceited or cocky or anything like that. But as far as appearance goes, I, you know, I pride myself on always looking my best, always looking presentable and all of that. So my appearance means a lot to me. Um, and like I said, it's not to be construed as being cocky or conceited or anything like that it's just that's just me that's the person that I am I always want to try to look my best and I always want to try to give my best so with that being said I've been on cloud nine I've been doing really good been feeling great and every time I'm doing good the enemy tries to knock me on my feet I mean on my butt and uh he attacked my hair and that might sound minuscule to some of you that might sound like you know there are bigger problems in the world than that you know you know your dad's in the hospital and all that yes he tried to attack me with my dad that didn't work and so it's just like he keeps coming at me and y'all my hair means a lot to me and uh you know, it even says in the Bible that, you know, a woman's hair is her glory. So my hair and my appearance mean a lot to me. And the enemy attacked me because I'm losing my hair. It is, I'm balding. Like I'm losing my hair. And uh, that's hard for me. Uh, and it's embarrassing to me. And, you know, because that's the joke. You don't have no edge, you know. A girl don't have no edges or whatever but right now that is my story and I don't know how to take it I, my hair is fine it's always been fine I've always had that you know fine hair um, and it is not the thickest and all of that but I've never been bald and I'm literally balding I have severe bald spots in my head um and very it's very thin more so on one side than the other and I don't know what to do and so um my aunt is a hairstylist and I spoke with her and you know she today she washed my hair she deep, deep conditioned it and twisted it up or whatever um and she just basically told me that I'm going to just have to take better care of my hair. Um, she told me that some of it is alopecia um, from stress. Um, she was like, you just, you got to stop stressing. And, you know, that's easier said than done when you've got, you know, a new baby, a kid, you know, just life. My dad's in the hospital. It, it's it, That's easier said than done. Stop stressing. You know, just life is happening around me and it's hard to not keep my mind on it. Um, 
but all of that being said, um, I'm, I'm going to be more cognizant of how I take care of my hair and I'm going to be more purposeful about the way that I take care of my hair. And so I thought that this would be a wonderful opportunity to kind of document, you know, where my hair is right now and kind of monitor its growth and its changes um, because it's in bad shape and my hair has never been like this before. Um, I've been natural for, uh, it'll be four years in October, I believe. I've not put any heat on my hair the entire time I've been natural. I've not put any chemicals on my hair or anything like that. Um, so for me, this is devastating. Uh, and so I'm going to be very adamant about trying to restore my hair's health and um, grow it back. And so I want to use this video to kind of show you where I am right now. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll see some changes really soon. I'm starting back on my prenatals very regularly because if you don't know that they have they have vitamins in there that will promote hair growth. They also have biotin, which promotes hair growth and, and um, strength and stuff. So I'm, I've started back taking those today, which I never should have stopped taking in the first place. But, you know, anyway, let's not live in the past. Um, so I started back taking those. I got on Amazon and I ordered some black Jamaican castor oil. I'm going to start... Um, putting that on my hair probably every single day. My aunt said that I need to start massaging my um, scalp. So those areas where the hair is not growing, I need to start massaging those to stimulate growth. So I'm gonna be doing that. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm taking better care of my hair. Um, I'm also gonna be doing the Jamaican black castor oil on my baby's hair too. And I want to kind of monitor his growth too. Because you know how babies get. Their hair is kind of thin in the back and stuff like that. So I just kind of want to see, you know, what it does for my hair, what it does for his hair. I've heard it has wonderful benefits. And at this point, I'm desperate. And I just kind of want to, you know, see what happens. I'm going to also use it on my eyebrows and my lashes and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what my situation is looking like right now. Like I said, my hair is twisted, freshly washed and all of that. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna show you what my situation is looking like right now, and we're just gonna document it. I don't know if it's gonna be weekly, or if it's gonna be bi-weekly, I don't know yet, but I will keep you guys posted and updated on my progress. So, if you guys can see, this is my hairline, it is super thin. It's never been like this before in my life, but it's super thin, okay? And then here she's got some she's got it a little gelled down so you can't really see it that great but here is a slick bald spot like slick bald um which as she said was some alopecia this side is way worse if you can see it right here this has no hair on it like no hair at all so there's that and then my twists kind of cover it up but i've got some bald spots right here now this side is much thicker, so I don't have that. I don't have any balding over here, but over here it's bad. Like this whole area is bad. So this is, guys, this is what my hair is looking like. Um, I'm embarrassed by it, I really am. You know, I've got all this hair. <laughs> like my hair is, is, is fairly long. It's down um, when I, sh like I've never straightened it, but when I pull it, it comes down to about mid boob area so I mean down here um, so it's long um, it's fairly thick I don't like to call my hair thick because it's very fine so I have a lot of hair but it's not thick um, and so but this is where we are guys and uh, I'm gonna take you on this journey with me this is me being very vulnerable with you guys very transparent because I'm not comfortable with this at all I'm not comfortable with this at all I'd rather show my body uh, than it, it, than to show this like this is but I'm putting it out here and we're gonna monitor the growth together I just wanted to stop by and give you guys something and I figure right now was the best time to do this because you can see it really well um yeah I, I'm gonna be trying different things different alternatives like wigs but I don't want lace if you guys don't know the lace can irritate this part of my hair of anybody's hair it can rub your hair out and so 
I don't know if I'm gonna do wigs or not, or if I do, I'm probably gonna try the, um, what do they call it, a wig band that keeps it, keeps your wig on. I don't know, guys, I don't know yet, but I, I, I also had some breakage in here where my hair is much shorter um, from, I guess, wearing my ponytails too tight, and I have that really bad habit of putting my hair in the tightest ponytail ever, wrapping my hair bow around 25 times and brushing my edges down slick like I have to stop putting all of that tension on my hair because my hair just cannot handle it but because of that I have like breakage in on the middle part where my bun usually is so y'all I have to just nurse my hair all the way back to health so that's where we are right now and yeah so <laughs> hopefully it'll it'll improve and it'll improve fast because this is so hard for me but anyways in the scheme of things in life it's not that big of a deal I know that but for me it's important and it it's it hurts me so I wanted to share that got that with you guys again I wanted to say thank you so much for all your love your support your prayers for my dad he's doing much better um still in hospital prayerfully he'll get out in the next couple of days um, like I said, I have some really good things in store for you guys and prayerfully I'll be able to get back to recording and sharing some stuff with you guys. I, I've got some really exciting news coming up. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I love you so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>